Today, we're talking about charging systems. In particular, we're talking about retrofitting a Ford 3G style alternator to a classic vehicle. Let's get started. First of all, what's a 1G alternator? What's a 2G? What's a 3G? What's a 4G? Well, I'm gonna show you really quick right now. 1G. 2G. 3G, 4G. Now that you know what they look like, let's talk about the one we're dealing with today. We've got this 1956 Ford that has been retrofitted with a 1991 Ford Thunderbird engine and transmission and sniper fuel injection, and we've got a 3G alternator. Now on this application with the 3G alternator, we already have it. It's already installed on the engine. It already works with the belt drive setup, and it's a good high amperage alternator. Factory, this truck would have had a generator style setup, and those are stupid. They're a pain in the ass. But you can also do a GM one wire. However, again, this is already here. Might as well make it work, right? So if you're using a 3G style alternator, I'll put up a picture right now. You can pause that, that is your basic wiring for the alternator. And as you saw, you got your battery wire that goes in, your white and black wire plugs back into the alternator, your yellow wire is your battery positive, and the green wire, that's the tricky one. So, that green wire from the factory was for a dummy light in the Ford vehicles. We don't have a dummy light. It's got a decoded digital setup on it, and we don't want to add an extra light to the dash, so you have a couple options here. One, you can tie in a light bulb. It doesn't have to be a big light bulb like this. It can be a small one. It just needs to be a regular light bulb, not an LED. And simply all you do is you tie one end to your ignition source and then your ground, which is the body in this case, to that green wire in the alternator. The light bulb will illuminate while the key is on and as soon as the vehicle starts and running, it'll begin to charge and the light will go out. Now, there is another solution and that is a resistor. This little, this little tiny guy right here. This is a 560 ohm resistor. Supposedly you can tie one of these in as well and it does the same thing. So we're going to temporarily hook up a light bulb and show you how it does and then we're going to temporarily hook up a resistor and show you how it does as well. Let's do the light bulb first. So we have our green wire grounded to the body and the other wire to our ignition positive. You can see the light is on, dim, but it is illuminated with the key on. Now we're going to go ahead and start this thing and show you what happens. As you can see, the light bulb is now out. And we'll look at our uh, setup here. Charging at 14.4. Look at that. Well, let me show you what happens when you unhook that source. We took our ignition source away and bam, stops charging. Got our resistor tied in there, one end of the green lead, the other into ignition power. And we are charging. And just like that, our Ford 3G alternator is charging. Simple solution for less than $5 to get it back on track. Again, don't forget to pause the video for the wiring diagram if you have any questions about how to hook anything up. Also free feel to contact me, or if you have any other tips and tricks that work with these style alternators, let us know, let everybody know. I'll put a link below for the Amazon link where I got these resistors. Again, they were inexpensive. They come out to like five cents a piece or something like that. So I bought a pack of 100. If you need one, stop by, I'll give you one. I mean, what am I gonna do with 100 of them? I'm not, I'm not gonna do 100 3G alternators. Then again, maybe I'm, I might, who knows? Anyway, that's it, folks. If you have any questions, hit me up. Till next time, happy hot rodding.